Something considered a life-saving essential is disappearing from some Tennessee communities, and for one town, it's been feeling the effect for five years. Rural hospitals in Tennessee are closing at an alarming rate. In the small community of Ducktown, the hospital closed five years ago. You can see the closure notice still on the building's door today. Eric Benninghoff went there today and learned just how big of a loss this was for this town. There are a few small towns in America where you can walk down the center of the main street at noon on a Friday. In the southeast corner of Tennessee, Ducktown has its own peaceful draw. But one thing the community is still missing is easier access to health care for everyone. Steve Borton's barbershop gives you a glimpse into Ducktown, past and present. Fair to say Ducktown's a pretty small town? Oh yeah, absolutely. A community once dominated by copper mining. And it's changing more rapidly than Ducktown's ever changed. But one of those changes came five years ago and dealt a blow to the community. Critical care hospital like that. You know, it's the heartbeat. Copper Basin Medical Center, the town's legacy hospital since the 50s, was forced to close its doors. It was a shock. We all hate to see it happen very much. It's kind of sad to sit here and, and look at it. Dan Johnson was the CEO during the hospital's final year. Yeah, we were employees here that were born in this hospital. With over 20 years experience in rural health care, he says he came out of retirement to try and help. Certainly did everything we could to uh, downsize, to keep the hospital open, but the debt was so large that we just couldn't not come up with any way to to overcome that. As the copper mines closed and the population shrank, Dan says the hospital tried to bite off more than it could chew. The hospital was had too many services and too many employees for this time. Five years later, a public notice of closure still hangs on the emergency room doors. You had a mix of Medicare, Medicaid, and self-pay. And given this is a poor county and still is a poor county, uh, you can't survive on payments from Medicare and Medicaid. Now the area's closest hospitals are over state lines in Murphy, North Carolina and Blue Ridge, Georgia, which can pose problems if you have 10 care. It's, kind of a, it's a long drive even to go over across state lines into Fannin to go to that hospital, you know, and that could mean the difference. Years since its closing, Jared Orton says folks still think about what once was. I think people around here still hold on to hope that someday it'll be a hospital again. And whether a heartbeat could ever return to a facility now dormant. Eric Benninghoff with that story. Ducktown is not alone in losing its legacy hospital. Since 2010, Tennessee has seen the second highest number of hospital closures in the nation. That's according to a 2021 Tennessee Healthcare Campaign report.